I'm going to share with you three simple C's. The first one is culture. Say this with me, culture. Samson was called by God to fight Philistines, meaning that was his mission field. And instead of fighting Philistines, Samson was flirting with them. Culture is what is happening around us right now. And what I want you, if you're taking notes, write this down. Do not be submerged into that which you're surrounded with right now. Every Christian is like a boat. Boats are meant to be on water. It's okay to be on water, but when the boat is on water, they reach destination. When the water gets inside of the boat, the boat goes to the bottom. You and I are a Christian. You and I are a believer, which means this, that you and I are called to influence this culture, not to live submerged by this culture. The moment you begin to embrace the ideas, the moment you begin to embrace the lingo, the moment we begin to embrace the lifestyle of this culture, our culture is crazy. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot straight with you. Our culture today does not know if they're a guy or a girl. Our culture today calls abortion a choice. Our, our culture today calls love is anything that you are pretty much identify and are passionate about. Our culture is not Christian. Our culture is not supposed to be Christian. It's wet. But you are a boat. Which means that you can be in the culture. But the Bible tells us don't let the culture get inside of you. Don't get your theology from TikTok. Don't get your theology from Instagram. Don't get your theology from CNN or from a newspaper. Get your theology and your view of God from the Bible. Samson's first mistake was this. The culture he was called to conquer was the culture that he lived under being influenced. All of the three women Samson knew intimately in his life were Philistine women. I want to challenge you today that to be in this culture we are not monks we are not hiding from our culture we're going into our schools we're going into football games we're going into everything that this world offers but we are keeping ourselves dry on the inside in other words we keep ourselves unspotted from the culture the bible says not to love the world the bible says not to be friends with the world the bible tells us not to be people who are conformed to this world in other words we're like a ship on the sea the water is all around us the moment this water gets inside of us how does this water get inside of us when we begin to reflect the culture instead of reflect the kingdom of God when we begin to fall for the popularity when we want to accept and so much that we're willing to compromise our convictions that's exactly what happened to Samson Samson gave up his conviction to prove his love to Delilah he loved Delilah in fact he was attached to Delilah it was Delilah who did not love Samson and I want to tell you something the culture does not love you the culture does not care about you the culture did not die for you the culture will not be there for you when you get broken the culture gives a last rip about you and therefore I want to challenge you today do not let the culture get inside of your boat stay dry in the wet world stay pure in the polluted polluted world stay holy in a defiled world stay strong in the weak world stay focused in a distracted world be a young person that is a light and a salt in your school a light and a salt in your football game a light and a salt on social media be a person that is not spotted by the culture come on somebody give God a clap offering if you're watching us online drop that fire emoji in the chat be a person that is not spotted how do we do that practically I'm gonna leave you just with one solution on this is avoid potentially sinful situations avoid potentially sinful situations how do I practically get away from the sin in this culture it's very simple you don't run from people you don't run from school the, the goal is not I'm gonna destroy my phone delete my TikTok that's not the goal the goal is this which things in the culture right now that you are a part of that are causing you to sin
that are causing your affection for Jesus to be decreased causing your passion for Jesus to shrink which situations you know that if you keep on doing that if you keep on going there if you keep on checking this person's profile if you keep on being on this social media platform it will stimulate and it will trigger youthful passions or or desires that are not toward God the moment you identify that you walk away from that you don't come to the altar and say Jesus deliver me that's not how deliverance from culture happens when the Titanic got full of water it was too late to call Navy or to call the people who work on the ship say help us out it was too late you have to get the water out immediately the moment you notice the water got inside of your boat there was a time when I was delivered from the pornography 10-15 years later I started to get tempted again I was already married and it was on Instagram at the time they had this popular page on Instagram they don't have that right now they change Instagram faster than they change my clothes so everything changes on Instagram now ever since became part of the meta meta and so and I remember one time is that I would constantly scroll through and I would see myself being triggered and something inside of me was stimulated that was not good and I knew that if I keep on doing that in a matter of time I'm gonna fall back into whatever that God delivered me from and understand no matter how much I would ask God deliver me deliver me God make sure this stop I had to do one thing and that is I had to walk away from that which stimulated those sinful lusts and it was external I remember I told my wife I thought she's gonna kill me she did not kill me she prayed for me and after that I deleted Instagram for nine months and something happened I will regain my victory again if you're noticing right now you're not walking in victory there is no peace in your life I want to ask you one question which situations you're currently entertaining that you should be running from that's called the culture that's the first C Samson was flirting with Philistines when he's supposed to be fighting with Philistines I'm not talking about standing with signs on the, between Walmart and Winko over there and saying everybody's going to hell. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about getting up on, the, on your table in the lunchroom and screaming, everybody you will perish if you don't repent. I'm not talking about that. If God called you, good luck. Make sure you don't say you go to Hungry Jen. <laughs> okay. What I'm talking about first and foremost is that you don't let the culture affect you. Because the only people who can change their culture are those who have not been changed by their culture. 